Hey guys and welcome to this video on the C programming language. So in this video we want to write a program that prints the numbers from 1 to 100 but for multiples of 3 print fizz instead of the number and for the multiples of 5 print buzz instead of the number. Uh, for multiples of both 3 and 5 we want to print fizz buzz. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing I'm going to do is create a description for our program to tell uh, whoever is reading our code what it's doing. So this program prints the numbers from 1 to 100, but for multiples of 3, print fizz instead of the number. For multiples of 5, print buzz instead of the number. And for multiples of both 3 and 5, print fizz buzz. All right. So next up we're going to do is we're going to include our library. So we're going to include stdio.h. Now let's set up our main function. So it's going to return an int. So we're going to say int main left parentheses right parentheses then left bracket right bracket. And we need to return an integer value. So we're going to return 0 here. Now from the problem it looks like we need a loop since we need to print numbers from 1 to 100. So I need a variable to iterate through. So I'm going to create an integer variable called i. And it's going to be our iterator. Now I need a loop. So I'm probably going to use a for loop. And this loop will run from i equals 1. It's going to run while i is less than or equal to 100. And i is going to increment by 1 each time. So i plus plus. All right, within this loop, what we're going to do is just we're going to print every single number from 1 to 100. So we just need to print i. So that's percent %d uh, space and then I put i here and then semicolon. So now this is going to allow us to print numbers from 1 to 100. And let's go ahead and take a look and see uh, what that looks like and make sure our program is working properly. So we can see here that we have numbers from 1 all the way up to 100 and they're all being incremented by 1. So that's good. Now what we want to do is we want to replace the, the number like 3 for example with fizz, we want to replace the number 5 with uh, buzz, and we want to replace the number 15 with fizz buzz. So we can do that by including an if statement here, or actually a couple of if statements. So first one will check if the number is divisible by both 3 and 5. And so to do that, we can say if i mod 3 equals equals 0, that means that i is divisible by 3, and i mod 5 equals equals 0, that means that i is divisible by 5, so if i is divisible by 3 and i is divisible by 5, then we want to print fizz buzz. Okay, and then semicolon there. Else, if it's not divisible by both, maybe it's divisible by one of them. So let's check if it's divisible by 3. So else if i is divisible by 3 only, so that means that i mod 3 equals equals 0, then we want to print fizz. Okay. So here I'm going to put in the comments here, check if um, i is divisible, uh, divisible by 3. Okay. Now we want to check if i is divisible by 4. 5. So that's i mod 5 equals equals 0. If i mod 5 equals equals 0, 
then we know that uh, i is divisible by 5. So check if i is divisible by 5. And if it is, we want to print buzz. And if none of those are the case, so we just have our else statement here, then we could just print the number like we normally would. So it's going to print I. All right. And that should do it. So let's go ahead and give this a run. OK, that looks like it's right. Um, let me make this look a little bit better. We're going to put a print statement here before the end of our loop. And we're going to go to the next line for every single number that's being printed or every single word that's being printed as well. So let's go ahead and run this again. All right, so what we can see is we get one, two, fizz. So here would be three, but because three is divisible by three, we get fizz instead of the number three. And here we would get five, because five comes uh, after four, and we get buzz, and that's because uh, five is divisible by five. Now let's look for 15. 15 is divisible by both 3 and 5, so we get fizz buzz. So it looks like it's working properly. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comments section. Please leave the likes. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I will be sure to put this code on my GitHub and a link to the code in the description below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.